I have no idea what to make of it. It looks like a lot of recycled material and it looks really warm. And I feel like it's like a nest. And I feel like Concordia is kind of like this big nest and she's just cooped up inside of it. Like a true artist, Kate Running keeps her audience guessing and searching for deeper understanding. It's kind of sad looking, like in a lonely way. Uh, kind of despondent, like she's sick and needs looking after. There's been plenty of looking today. Some people are timid at first, but running takes care of that in a second. Hi. <laughs> For at least 12 hours. This is really cool. Thank you. <laughs> from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., this nest is her home, and all of Concordia has keys to her front door. Her inspiration came from those little basket makers in the sky, weaver birds. But instead of twigs and leaves, running spent about six weeks weaving canvas, felt, and wire. She calls it fiber art. Part of performance art, I don't really know what all it's about until it's finished. Because it is, I don't, I plan, like, I planned the object and I knew I was going to sit in it for the day, but that was it. And everything, everything that has ensued this day is news to me. And worthy news for everyone else. Mm -hmm. Running says her day hanging out in her homemade nest. How long did this take you? Turned into a day of fielding questions from local yeah, media and onlookers, somebody. leaving her with questions of her own. I, mean, I guess what I'm doing is bizarre. I just didn't expect I was going to get this much attention. I don't know why. I just... I don't know. It portrays something sort of um, mysterious and, and dark and interesting. I wish I could think of something like that, but I can't. <laughs> it's out of the ordinary art, one that makes an impression by causing confusion. Nathan Matson, Campus News.